the other day I was having lunch with a friend and I caught myself asking her, oh my gosh, am I emotionally dumping on you? And she's like, no, 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 no. But I've, I've actually realized I've been saying that a lot to people. Because one thing about me, most I'm in my feelings era. Oh, one thing about me, guys, I'm going to talk about my feelings. <laughs> and I'm trying to catch myself now. Because if you ask me, how are you? Just how much time do you have? <laughs> to take it. <laughs> to take it. But I also, so I'd start saying, I'm good. You know, I'm thinking about all these things. But there's this still one thing that's affecting me. And then, and then, and then I catch myself. I'm like, oh. Am I emotionally dumping on you? Emotionally dumping is a thing. It's honest. It's defined as an act of unconsciously sharing your feelings or perspective without an awareness of the other person and their emotional state or needs, which a lot of us have been guilty of from time to time. Yeah. It's important to catch yourself. And I've, I've been finding myself, even with Moss by there, guys, don't even go far. How many times have I asked you, Moss, am I emotionally dumping on you? And you're like, no. Because yeah, because I, there's always a threshold of what the other party can take. Yeah. And how do you turn it into healthy venting? Because emotional is, it's rapid, it's overbearing, it's overwhelming. Whereas I think healthy venting comes from a place of, hey, there's something that I just want to express. And I, it's, I feel like it's on my mind. I feel like it's in me. And I just want to talk about it. I would because, say mm. emotional dumping is one man show. That's true. Yeah, you've actually defined it. It's one man show. And remember, sometimes you emotionally dump because we're talking about the same thing over and over again. I'll give an easy case of talking about a relationship that you're not happy with. And every time you meet with your friends, the first thing that you... And remember, this does not invalidate your experience. But you're talking about the same thing like a hamster wheel as opposed to what's your plan? What's your plan? You're unhappy. It's, it's okay. their progress. What's the progress? What Are you making a plan to work it out together? Are you making a plan to say, this is not working for me? Are you making a plan to talk to someone, maybe therapy? Or are you just repeating the same, same over and over? Which, by the way, I get it. I get you sometimes you're in a place where you're like, I just need to talk to someone. But you know what starts to happen? People start to form boundaries around you. Yeah, so yeah. the best thing is to find this someone who is not ahead of reasoning to you. We always come back to this. Yes. Find that friend who you know can listen take it to, all. Can take it all, but also understanding that they'll also check you. Yes. If it's been six months, mm -hmm. they'll be like, well, what are you doing? I understand where you're coming from. I understand that this job makes you really unhappy. Mm -hmm. This relationship is weighing on your mind. The situation with your family is troubling you. What are you doing about it? Yeah. Because and I the get... most tiring thing is mm -hmm. when there is no progress. You know, because you can have a conversation with someone you highlight the kind of action they need to take and they are in agreement but the next meeting nothing has happened from their end so that's kind of draining you know and also people will show you that they can't keep up with it right yep um the other day i wanted to talk to a friend of mine and i found myself asking do you have bandwidth which is growth because <laughs> i'm growing also most um and she said, yeah, for a bit. But I asked her that because I know she's also dealing. And so I'm trying to catch myself and I'm trying to find room that everybody's emotional needs are different. And sometimes you're overwhelmed and so are your friends. And so maybe one way you guys can navigate that together is by saying, if we're going to get together, can we give everyone 15 minutes to just rant, right? Then the rest of the conversation, can we think through progress for each of our situations? And then we end maybe with the next steps. <laughs> this is how your new brunching dates should be, people. It's brunching for adults. This yeah. is dinner dates for adults. <laughs> it's also happening in the workplace. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah it get is. Get into the boardroom and we'll just give a chance and opportunity to everyone to just express their mm. feelings. I didn't really, I didn't really consider that. I, I know that workplace wellness is a big conversation, but I like how you've integrated the point of the way you're making grace for your friends for those 15 minutes, do the same thing in the workplace when you're in the boardroom and yeah. you're about to have a meeting and just do a check-in. Because everybody has something that they're frustrated about. Yeah, because what happens is just that <laughs> this particular person will feel they're not given the opportunity to express their feelings. At one point, they will burst. They'll blow up. But if you give the people the opportunity, then you don't have to be solving bigger problems. You can solve them in there. Before they become something yeah, bigger. Before, yeah. 
I like what you've said. And then, so it says how to set boundaries around emotional dumping is if somebody is, oh my gosh, this is always, if they're coming to you with emotional dumping, you can say things like, I would appreciate if you ask me where I'm at before diving into what's going on with you. Now is not a good time for me. I notice this situation keeps happening. Have you thought about reaching out for guidance from a therapist or counselor who can help you work through this? It's probably the best response to give them. And then what is venting? Venting is a healthy and helpful exchange between two people. So it answers what you've said most about it. It's no longer a one man show. Yeah. Venting goes both ways. And it occurs when the listener supports the person venting by offering supportive responses. Um, and then how would you, how do you honor emotional state of others? So ve venting is like validating. It's validating. Yeah. And it's also starting with a, with a disclaimer. Hey, this is going on with me. Can I talk to you as you talk to me what, about what's going on with you? Right. Not just putting, sitting down and saying, hey, what are you doing? this guy, this job, because that then becomes, it's all about you. Mm -hmm. um, so work has become stressful and it's affecting me. Can I talk to you about it? That's healthy venting. I notice I'm feeling triggered. Do you have space to offer some support? Um, and so I think it's, I think every friend group could be going through this or people at the workplace. If you feel like you're emotionally dumping, how do you catch yourself? I had to start catching myself because as I'm healing, I'm realizing so many things that I'm excited to share, but it still ties into what I'm dealing with. It still can turn into a one man show and bigger, bigger still is when you're healing, you still have triggers that you're overcoming. So I would find myself talking about these things. Because a part of me is excited that I'm aware of them, but a part of me has still not processed them. So it still can be like emotional dumping. Yeah. Emotional dumping, guys. Catch yourselves if you can. Catch yourself by asking in the middle of whatever rant or ramble, am I emotionally dumping? The person can often be honest and say yes. Sometimes they don't want to hurt your feelings. They'll say no until they begin to form boundaries around you. Silence is a boundary. They go quiet on you. They just avoid you. They avoid you. Avoidance. So these are things that I'm not saying you encourage them on day to day, but that's their boundary. They are also triggered by you and they have to set a boundary that protects their peace, even if it means silence. And also it shapes your character. So one of the symptoms is getting out of topic. Let's say we are in a meeting discussing. Maybe a, a new project. Yeah, yes. Then you go out of context and you bring in something different. That has nothing to do that with That has it. nothing to do with that. Next time people will avoid you. It's true. So I think, I think catch yourself. It helps you and it helps the other people. So are you emotionally dumping today? Or are you healthy? Are you venting in a healthy way? Ask yourself those questions, I think. Catch yourself. Catch yourself.